Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, are you gonna go to Chipotle? Whoa. Oh. Yeah. What oh, the fuck? Yeah, How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, okay, there we go. I held up my hand. Okay. And then go to I was oh, back here. Go to Whoa, oh. what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, I already oh, heard this. Sorry. I might as well go all the way. There we go. Can I actually reverse time? Victoria, why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by. The oh shit! I have a missed call. Sorry. I might as well go all the way. There we go. There we go. Can I actually Can reverse, I actually time? reverse time? Why Arbus? Why Arbus? Because of her images. Of because of her images spaces. of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted. You feel like by totally haunted by. I did it. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. All the way. There we go. All the way. There we actually. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arbus? Why Arbus? Why Arbus? Because, because, of, images, because of her images, images of hope. Not yet. You go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her. Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and when children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Sorry, if I was having like end, all of the technical difficulties. Keep that to yourself. All of them. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you. I in a dark stopped streaming and, and then I started streaming, and I started and streaming while also me. having the thing. Pl it, it was bizarre. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height? Of their beauty or innocence, she had a brilliant well, eye. in an hour. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Did you want to Me get too, Victoria. the app? He captured the essence of post-war beat America, and there was we'll honesty about works. the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. Right, let's just take this. You, you don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse, and both were the great. Oh my God, this class I is so I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, okay. and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. How do you have a gift for selfies? I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First, I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Tigari, I feel sick. <laughs> I have to use the bathroom. Ah. Kind of interchangeable, but let's go with that one. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. <laughs> nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Find people's faces. Make <sighs> Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, do you get it? Capture our interest. Tell us the name of the process that gave class? birth to the first self-portraits. Do you get it? Are you using the Chipotle app? <gasps> Chipotle has an app. Huh. Huh. Hmm. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. 
It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Oh, gag. Gross. What's up? Sofritas bowl? Sofrita salad? Si. Yeah, that's good. Did, did I need to do anything else? Why is this happening? Oh my god. And to me. Quiet. Oh, uh, right, okay. Chipotle. Very important. The... That one. That one. No. What? Wait. That one. That one. This. Sweet. Does it get delivered or do we have to do like a to go box? Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Everyone in this game has bags under their eyes. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid Ugh. handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. This is so pretentious. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Hmm. Uh, okay. Excuse me. These future stars avoid handing in her picture. Hmm. Alright. Sweet. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Today on Max, Kiss Ass you're on Simulator. Fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Hmm. Nah. The cash is on the table. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I have because to get Max to the bathroom. everybody to see how hip she is. As if she plays it so sharp. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant cat. I can't let that girl die in the bathroom. Nerds. What's that got to do with anything? Okay, okay. We're here, bitch. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get oh, that? Shit. What, what are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I need a hammer to break it open. Of people trying to control me. What? You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Cute. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Whoops. Me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this photo? than drugs. Nobody would 
ever even Matt, miss your you're going to get her. hurt. Get that uh, gun away from me, psycho! Oops. Okay, okay, okay. More trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. The noise is really fucking annoying. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <laughs> it's always the douchey white guy that they give the southern accent to. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Trust the man. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. What did I do, though? No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Uh... I'm not sure yet. I mean, he's clearly a genius, but I don't agree with everything he says. He does get a bit pretentious, but he's passionate and just says what he thinks. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Ew. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. And now well, she's missing. I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel.
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or... You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. <laughs> Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. I came to nose slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Uh... Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ow. Oh. <laughs> It's never not funny when someone gets hit in the balls. I'm stoked to see those photos framed and shit. You're not really a skate Betty, though. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day, she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her will get a skate posse and take them out with her boards. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind... Letting me sketch you. That's really creepy. I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. That's even creepier. Uh... uh okay. I'd be honored, Daniel. Okay. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Oh. <laughs> Start drawing. No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. You murdered her. Some people her. said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Oh, that's so creepy. Good, good. Mm. 
Best portrait ever. I want to file a restraint against this fictional character. Clever. Huh. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. Off you get. Off. <laughs> He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Uh, I hate the word sheeple. It's like the only people that use it are sheeple. Stop biting me! Stop it. Hmm. What if I... Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Preston. Yes, he's a na Somebody needs to take. It'll happen. Karma doesn't play favorites. Yeah, history always proves. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Uh, I could Google this. I could literally Google this right now. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. I was right! You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? Oh, this guy's so It's not bad. a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Where the fuck do you find these people? Oh my god, this entire game is obsessed with Rachel. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her Vortex Club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. We were like brother and sister. Now she's dead, and that's okay. You going? Oh yeah, should be ready now, huh? How do you do that? You button the bottom, and then you button the top, and then you do the middle? But why? Step on you. Step on you. I wish to step on your face. Hmm. Alright. Did you grab the cash? Did you grab my stripper money? Good. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? No! Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Hmm. This is true. 
David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Huh. You know a lot. You know a lot about Blackwell Pandering. for being a science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Ha! I understood that reference. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. Yeah. I knew you no were my favorite brother. new student at Blackwell for a good reason. That's fine. Step on your face. Huh. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. That fucking voice, though. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Gag. Not to boast. He said boastingly. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Because being a fun person is okay. And totally negates the fact that you're insane. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Uh... You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Yeah, you ever seen the movie Chillax, Carrie? Relax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. <clears throat> so you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Of course. Hmm. I'm more confused. Let's talk later. I can't handle too much information. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel. Even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, she fell off a cliff. Um, Daniel whatever killed her. happens to people who disappear without a trace? What the fuck does that mean? Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever be. said that. Pause this for a sec. So that I can do a thing.
Alright, I was just told to interact with my viewers. I was not aware I had any. Okay. Let's talk later. Let's talk Hayden. later, Hayden. Bye, oh. Max. No. I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. My chemical on? Is that what people call getting high these days? Fucking kids. Asian kid on her iPad. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? She has a drone? Is this legal? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Oh, this bitch, though. It's not... First, it's not a weapon of war. It's been around forever since, like, RC everything. Alright, well... Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Alright, bitch. Turn up your shade. Hi, Brooke. Let me get... I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many... A weapon. Yes. Oh, here we go. Hi, Brooke. Let me get... I'd love to... This is... A weapon. Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. Okay, you know what? Clearly this is not working. Let's go through your shit. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Oh, right. Okay, here we go. Sorry, Max. Oh, okay. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. we go. Hi, Brooke. Let me get... Alright, shade bitch. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I, I love aerial photography. Shit. Drones are perfect for that. Especially those with great range. It's a new era shit. of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Whee! Mm. Oh, I'm not actually in control of it. How sad. Uh, okay, we're done now. I said I was gonna meet that guy like six hours ago. It's like the third time I've seen this guy and he has the worst posture. What's up, bro? What's up? Cool choker. Hey. Is that a collar? Did your mistress get that for you? Hey. Hey. Where are you going? Where are you going? Signpost. Look. Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Oh, no. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Bible study. Mm. 
Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Oh. All right. Let's jog. Come on, let's jog. Tree! Sit! Okay. So bizarre to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. All right, we've had our moment. Mm, anything else? Talk to the burnout. Talk to the nerd. Talk to the teacher. Step on her face. Talk to that pretentious fuck. Talk to this also pretentious fuck. Dorms? Alright. Okay. Dormitories it is. And... I guess gonna be done stream Excuse you, sir. Rude. Gonna be done streaming now. Uh Okay. I'll play up again later, I guess. <laughs>